can't believe I haven't done this before. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty darn happy right now. Got a couple projects just done. I'm getting ready to leave on a couple days of vacation and I get to babysit my brand new grandbaby this afternoon, so I'm pretty happy. Oh, definitely eat dessert first. <laughs> on many levels. Believe it or not, Portland, I'm a native. All the great restaurants that we have and all the great places to walk. I'm a big walker, so all of our parks and the Esplanade I love. And really, though it's not Portland, I have to say that um, my home that I built with my husband about eight years ago, though not extravagant, is my dream home. And it's my favorite place to be. And, you know, I still feel giddy every time I walk through the door there. So that's another favorite place in Portland. I think probably church hymns. You know, they have a way of just kind of burning into your memory. And so that kind of seems like the first, first time I was aware of any music. There's just so many. I don't know I can narrow it down to one. I think Beethoven is probably closest to my heart, but there's just a long list that, that I would say in terms of composers and musicians. Pretty much feel like um, life just keeps getting better all the time, so any part of my life I'm in, I'm kind of happiest there. But um, I guess I would say highlights of my life might have been when my two sons were born. Well, it's not that great, but I would have to say pedicures. <laughs> I came to that kind of late in life, um, but I feel it's a real extravagance for me, and I, I love it. I would like to die in bed quickly at about 110 after living a very long and healthy life.